<sighs> Why am I doing this? Why? I know why I'm doing this, because my boyfriend's a dirty cheater and rigged the vote to make me play Faxanadu. Well, never let it be said, I'm not a man of my word. I'm definitely going to do it, so here we go. Faxanadu for Nintendo Entertainment System, everybody. Enjoy this fantastic intro, that fantastic color palette. Oh, oh gosh! Just everything is a different shade of disgusting. All right, this fellow here is our protagonist. He doesn't have a name. In the Japanese version, you can name him, but this is the English version, so I'm just gonna call him Faxana Dude. I've been on a long journey. I came back to my hometown to find it is almost deserted. The gate is closed. People are gone. And the walls are crumbling, Mr. Spot. I wonder what happened. Let's just head right into town. Talk to the Castlevania II villager here. I want you to see the king right away, although you've just arrived. Yeah, the dialogue in fact, Sanadu is a little... It's a little... I don't know how to explain it. The dialogue in fact, Sanadu is a little bad. It's like Japanese people speaking English, but using Japanese sentence structures and syntax. It can get a little weird. Let's talk to this guy. This is the store. Elmer Fudd's the proprietor. White meat can weigh energy for 50 golds. Uh, I don't have dried meat, and I don't have 50 golds, so I can't get dried meat to bring energy. So we'll have to wait until we have 50 golds. Need to talk to everybody here. Let's talk to this lady with this with the uh, rosacea, apparently. Listen to people. You'll only get frustrated if you just walk around. Oh, you'll get frustrated anyway if you're playing facts and a dear lady. Let's talk to this guy. This guy looks like the baby from Dinosaurs. Not the mommy. The dwarfs are robbing the elves' money and jewelry. Okay. Now, you use the plural of dwarf as dwarfs, but you use the plural of elf as elves. The plural of dwarf is dwarves. That's, that's how that works. And if you say otherwise in the comments, I will ban you. I don't want to hear it. I'm playing Faxanadu. Don't give me any reasons. Don't give me anything. Let me talk to this stereotypical Spanish woman. This is the elf town of Aeolus. It is located at the bottom of the world tree. And the elves live here. You don't say! The elf town. Here's where the elves live. Go to see the guru before you see the king. No, you can't make me. I want to go see the king first because I want a particularly funny piece of text. Let's talk to this cool cat that's just leaning against nothing, smoking a cigarette. The dwarfs ugh, are already in town. It looks like the end is near. It's dwarves! Ugh, I hate being an English major sometimes. Okay, these things on the ground, these artichoke-looking guys, they're dwarves. Yeah, they're, they're actually dwarves, and I'll explain. Uh, it used to be that the dwarves and the elves in this game lived in harmony. They lived separately, but in harmony with one another. Now, the problem is that a meteor fell and struck the world tree, which you saw in the intro, that huge tree by town. And it turned the dwarves evil and made them into monsters, so now they're attacking the elves. Let's talk to this lady who appears to be a mer person. The last well is almost dry. Well, that's terrible for you. You're a fish creature. You have to live in water. I don't know why she has blue, scaly-looking skin. Hey, there's a Castlevania monster. It's a, it's, a, it's a spear armor. I can't let you go. I'm gonna hold you in my arms forever. Okay, get ready for my favorite piece of dialogue of the Ness era. Let me try to open this door. Do you need a ring to open a door? 
Well, I don't know, game, do I? What the heck kind of dialogue is this? Do you need a ring to open a door? The game is trying to tell you that, in fact, you do need a ring to open this door. So, we're gonna go get it. Uh, the quickest way is to actually just get killed by the artichoke dwarves. So, we'll just do that. There we go. Don't have negative thoughts. Remember your mantra. Oh man, I'm gonna have negative thoughts all the time I'm playing this. Okay, we, we're brought back to the church because we got killed by artichokes. We're gonna talk to the guru who's the scariest guy in the game. Oh, that face. Damn. If you are going to see the king, take this ring. This ring will identify you. Don't lose it. Ring of Elf. Oh my gosh, just look at that face! Oh! Visit all gurus on your way. I don't want to! They scare me! You'll get a title according to your experience. I don't want it. I just want to stay away from gurus. Oh man, they're terrifying. Alright, we should just go directly to the king. over the artichokes. The nice thing is if you die you get full health and full magic. Uh, M is your magic, P is your power. E up there is your experience, G is your money, T represents the time for using special like time limited items like the flying boots and stuff. Okay, now that I have a ring I can go in here. And there's the king who's tapping his hand impatiently until you get close and then it's peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. He's, he's just bopping out now. Hey king. You just make him get up, sit down. Stand up, sit down. Stand up, sit down. Stand up. Gotta jump up his stairs. I guess that's why he's trying to keep in shape. The saddest kid. He looks more like a dwarf than an elf to me. Glad you could come. Disaster has befallen us. The elf fountain water, our life source, has stopped. The wells are drying up. Many men went out, and nobody came back. You are our last hope. I shall give you a thousand five hundred golds. Prepare for your journey with this money. It will be a dangerous journey. Take care of yourself. Oh, that sound. So he gave us a thousand five hundred... Um... Golds, which is apparently the currency. There is nothing more I can do to help you. Looking forward to good news. Sit back down. Quit peanut butter jelly timing. Well, he's a lot friendlier now. Good luck. I've got to stay here and guard Castlevania. There is a fountain in the town of Forpaw. Well, we might need to check that then. In the meantime, however, this guy who's constantly winning a Final Fantasy battle... Check out this guy's face. He's like Duke from G.I. Joe, except he got fat. Do you want a martial art lesson for 200 golds? No, you don't actually. All it does is give you a little health. It's a terrible ripoff. Look at these faces! These faces on the wall. It's like a demon clown. But not like most clowns that are scary. It's like what you would have if, if a, there was a clown for demons. And it was just supposed to be like funny. Hey guys, it's Possessy the Clown! Get up there. Let's talk to God. Another guy that looks distinctly dwarven. I shall give magic for 200 gold. No, it's a ripoff. It just refills like half your magic bar. Watch out for artichokes. Oh, I got touched by an artichoke. Dang it. Oh, gotta jump over him. You, you can't fight him yet. Hey, cool guy. Do you have a weapon for fighting? I have a weapon for love. Does that count? Alright. Talk to this guy who looks like Al from Tool Time. Didn't age well. Hello, I sell tools. What would you like? Oh, he sells tools. He really is from Tooltime. 
Come here to buy. What would you like? They ask you what you would like a lot in this game. Well, I'm gonna need a hand dagger. Thank you for shopping. And then you have to initiate the conversation all over again. Now I also want the spell, Deluge, however I'm going to refer to it as Delugi, just because I'm contrary and hateful. Thank you for shopping. Alright. Now we need to equip some things. How do I do that? That's right, it's this way. Got my hand dagger. Got Delugi. There's Delugi. You can use that to kill artichokes, who apparently drop turds. I'm not sure what these are supposed to be, but they heal you. They may be a loaf of bread, or they may be another kind of loaf entirely. I'm not sure, but they don't look good. Alright, we're gonna go see the key maker, who's played by Bill Murray. Hello. I sell keys. What would you like? What would you like? I need key J. Thank you for shopping at Bill Murray's key store. Guy looks straight up like Bill Murray. How about you? There are many rings with different magic. Look for them one by one in the whole world. Let's talk to this stone-jawed creep. Oh god, he just says the same thing. I don't want to hear it. No, I don't want to look at that face. It's the scariest thing in a NES game. Let's see if these guys say anything different now. Don't try too hard. <laughs> just just kind of half-ass the whole thing. That's good quest advice. A meteorite fell into the world tree and created havoc. At the end of the confusion, the dwarfs of the underworld came up and attacked the elves. Nobody knows the reason. Well, it has to do with the fact that they all turned into artichokes and other weird junk. No, no, that's just Elmer. He, he doesn't say anything different. He once dried meat to bring energy for 50 gold. Go straight ahead, and you'll find the town of Apolloon. And there's our next monster. We're gonna have to name these things, so this is... Armhead guy. Armhead. He left us a coin, which was 59 golds. There's a mark of Jack by the keyhole. Yeah, I need to put my Jack key into the keyhole. Key Jack. I've used key. Alright. Now we're in the proper game. We're just gonna poke skull arm there. Skull flops. If we're careful, we can do this without getting hit too much. Because you don't heal very readily on your own. Yes, got it. This whole area, by the way, is the roots of the world tree that we're walking around on. Oh, artichokes. Give me your very disgusting healing item. Ah! There we go. I got it under control. There we go. Just gotta be careful with the, the skull plots. Ah! Got the wrong guy. Shove up here and do this incredibly slow Mega Man climb. Why exactly does he do so well climbing sideways, but goes slowly climbing up and down? That seems a little counterintuitive. Ah! Oh no, no. Get back, get back, get back. Back. There. Zombies. That's what we're gonna call these guys. They look very zombish. They don't drop you anything, they just give you a little EXP. Oh hey! Al Borland again. What's he selling? Magic shield for 7,600 golds, and the death spell for 12,500. Yeah, you're a little out of my price range, Al. Sorry. Ah! Oh, that's cheap shot right there. Ah! I didn't even touch him! 
Oh, this game. I hate this game's terrible hit detection. It's so irritating. You're not remotely near something and you get hit. Alright, we've made it to a town. I'm not sure which town. Let's talk to the Spanish lady. There are dwarfs all over in the Tower of Trunk. Go out of town, turn right, and go straight. Then you'll find the Tower of Trunk. Where you'll lose all your salt betting on him. Another tool shop? What have you got, Al? Nello, I sell tools. It just looks like an N and not an H. What would you like? I'd like to be playing a better game, frankly. I need the small shield. It'll help with projectiles, basically. Thank you for shopping. Alright. Nice pause. Uh, no, not armor. Shield. Or sneeled. There we go. I need to visit the key guy. I need to visit Bill Murray. Get another key of Jack. Hello to you too, Bill Murray. Uh, prices have already gone up in the next town. This is the pub. Talk to sad grandma here. You have the meta. You can break the wall. But if you don't have it, then presumably you can't. The Mavok should be in the tower. You can get it by defeating a dwarf. Well, I suppose dwarves would have Maddox. That makes sense. They mine. There's the town of Fourpaw ahead of you. Okay. Oh no. I don't want to talk to him. Okay. Uh, you need peace of mind. I will meditate with you. Yeah, that's peace of mind right there. That's your password, by the way. Oh my gosh. It's like you need peace of mind. I will have Tourette's with you. This is the hospital. Watch out for the jar of poison. The poison will take your energy away. Do you want a treatment? I, I don't know if I want a treatment from that guy. He seems a little suspect. It is 250 golds, please. This is not enough golds. Well, excuse me, Kolchak. I'm getting out of here. Another house with the same two people. You can carry eight items. They are all important. Choose well. And Dinosaur Baby, did you learn the Guru's mantra? The mantra will return you to this world. Hold on to the mantra. How can you memorize... Bad! Oh my gosh, I hate this game. I really don't like Faxanadu. It's hideous. The dialogue is really wonky. The gameplay is very awkward and the controls are kind of floaty. Ah! Then you get knocked back into other screens. Okay, here's my main problem. I want you to see- I didn't mean to change screens, but I'll show you after I kill these guys again, I guess. Your character actually has this weird, uncomfortable acceleration going on. Like, he starts out slow, and then you watch him speed up, and it makes it really hard to time anything. So it's a very awkward mechanic. And I do not like that you speed up, even jumpy, you can't stop yourself from speeding up uncontrollably. This right here is the Tower of Trunk. We'll go over here, but we can't get in! Because this is blocking the way, we need the Matic to get past it. Give me a turn to heal with, there we go. There's a mark of Jack by the keyhole. 
Yeah, that's right. If you go here without buying the jack key again, because of course you'd assume that you have it already, you have to go all the way back and buy another one. I've used key. Alright, this is the Tower of Trunk. Never bet on DBZ. Unless it's DBZ, in which case, always bet on it. Uh, can't get to the artichokes up there, but the skull clops are everywhere. What? How did the artichoke use a ladder? Answer me that one. How did the artichoke use a ladder? It's an artichoke. Stupid artichoke dwarves, not making any sense. Yeah, Give me your loaf! Oh, I hate these jumps in this game! They're so floaty. You have to be falling off the edge by the time you jump to land it right. Nope. Stop hitting me, Skullclops. Ah! I don't have to waste magic on you. Yes! Got him. No! Missed my jump again. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Oh, there we go. Once you're getting to speed, you can do it. Okay, this thing... Birdman here... I don't like. Basically, he's gonna start jumping over you, and he tries to get you to blunder into him, but he's really stupid. All you gotta do is just alternate your stabs and get him. Not really dangerous. Oh! He can still hit you if you're not careful. There we go. Oh. Ah! I missed. I don't want to waste magic because it's very helpful for the boss of the Tower of Trunk. Ah! There we go. Ugh, glitchy climbing. Whew, there we go. Okay, this guy is just Leon from Star Fox. Annoying bird! I have the great deal! Well, that got him. Got another Leon. Incredibly floaty jump. I got hit there, but that's okay. Okay, this right here, this is the first boss. He's a dwarf. He can't hit me if I'm standing up here. So we're going to delugi him to death if we can. This is all he does. Is he shoots four fireballs. Yes! We had enough to delugi him. Give me that money. I'm holding Matok. Alright, now we have to walk all the way back out. Get out of the way, Leon. And another Leon. Yay, I got them both. Get my healing loaf. Ah. Hey, I actually want your EX, please. Come here. Come on, Birdman. There we go. Alright, we just gotta stab this Birdman, and I think we're pretty much home free. I think there's one more Birdman that could hit us. Ow! Yep, and he did. What do you know? Must be psychic. Come here, Skull Clops. Yeah, I want your EXP, because you can level up in this game. It doesn't do anything for your health and, and magic, but it does uh, it does do something nice, which we'll get into later when it comes into play. There we go. All these enemies are dwarves. They may not look like what you'd think of as a dwarf, but they are all dwarves. Ow. Ow. Just forget it. I've got enough EXP. Oh, crud. Oh, gosh. 
There. Get out of my way. Ha! Ah, jump stab. Right in the eye. I'm proud of that one. Alright, let's talk to the guru as much as I don't want to. Ugh! I shall give you a title. Aspirant. Make sure you live up to it. You need peace of mind. I will meditate with you. Between the abs. Ugh. All right, so we've gotten what we came for. I need to visit the doctor for a quick full heal. Yes, I want a treatment. I have 250 golds right here, creepy doctor. Oh, that sound. Don't try too hard. Why is everybody telling me to just do badly? It's like, be sure to suck. Zombies are worthless. They give you no money and almost no EXP. Drop rates are fixed. Everything always drops everything, basically. So you'll always get, like, the 59 golds from the skull plops. Ha! Stab that again. Eventually I'll be able to hit those artichokes with a, a better weapon, but I don't have one right now that will do the trick. Alright, we're gonna Maddock through here. That would be under items. I've used Maddock. There we go. Now I ask you, how do they expect you to get through here without getting hit a couple times? Yeah, there's some Mega Man levels of cheapness. There's just no way to avoid getting hit right there, frankly. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh! There we go, I made it. Okay, there's a uh, Mushroom Man up there. That's what we'll call him. He's Mushroom Man. These guys are ghosts. Simply enough. Ow! Nope, stop it! You stop that! I'm gonna fight you. Ah! One hit kills them, and they leave you turns. Whew! Made my jump. Thank goodness. Alright, let's see what Mushroom Man's got. He ain't got anything. He's nothing. Got a few hits. He'll heal me. There's a glove. We could get that. It's a useful enough item. Oh, wait, Mushroom Man. There's a, uh... Fat robe guy's whiz robe. Zelda, that's what we'll call it. This game is basically Zelda 2 if uh, Link hated himself and hated you. Ah! Ooh. He's actually pretty tough. Dang, that guy means business. The glove increases offensive power. Oh, that's actually temporary. Apparently it's used instantly upon obtaining it. Oh my gosh, that guy's kicking my butt. Alright, let's fight the mushroom man. He's a safer bet. The power of the glove is gone. Yeah, that's as long as it lasted. Thanks, glove. I need your healing loaf. Ah! No! Yes! Got him! Sniped with the loogie. And we've made it to another town. Let's talk to the Sahagan lady. This is the town of Fourpaw. Ah! The much vaunted Fourpaw. Let's see how much Elmer's charging for dried meat to bring energy. For 150 golds. That's pretty good. And not bad. Thank you for shopping. Yeah, you're welcome, Elmer. See what Al's got. Alright, now we're getting into the territory of some real good stuff here. I want that uh, studded mail. I want that longsword. We're gonna get the studded mail first. We'll get the longsword next, as soon as I can uh, make the money for it. 
Thank you for shopping. Alright, let's go ahead and equip that. And now we actually look a little different, which is one progressive thing the game actually did. One of very few things. Water from three springs flows into the fountain. Find the three springs and return the water to the fountain. Don't need to check in the hospital, we already know. Hey! This guy doesn't have a Spanish lady wife. I hear quite often about a fountain in the sky. When you go down from the town, you'll come to a place where the sky opens above. They say a fountain is up in the sky. But you need wing boots. Yeah, I'll have to get a pair of wing boots to fly up there. Bill Murray. Ah, yeah, we don't want to go out there yet. Forget that. We're going to close out this episode of Facts and Do with a visit to... The... Yeah, we'll go see the guru. I shall give you a title. Babbler. Make sure you live up to it. Incidentally, the title determines how much gold uh, you start with. How much EXP and gold you start with if you die. You need peace of mind. I will meditate with you. Good night, everybody.